Alyssa Heilman. Alyssa, what's going on outside? Well, we're starting right now with our first alert weather future track, but note this is for next week. So this is starting Monday 7 a.m. where for Monday and really into Tuesday, we're mostly just seeing cloud cover, but then some strong wind comes in for midweek next week. We're expecting very windy conditions Tuesday, Wednesday, and again, mostly just cloud cover, maybe a couple areas of a sprinkle coming from this system that's mostly over Michigan Tuesday morning. But again, for the rest of Tuesday, expecting mostly just cloud cover, windy conditions in to Wednesday again cloud cover windy conditions that pretty much sticks around for most of the midweek there but then Thursday start to see the system move over it's a long line of storms and depending on when the storm and the front that's associated with it comes along we're getting a chance for some widespread rain throughout Michiana and really throughout a lot of these states here on Halloween and for Halloween night trick or treat. So again, depending on the cold front, we're continuing to uh, keep an eye on the data that's coming in to see when this cold front and system will move through for the chances for rain for Halloween trick or treat. But again, 7 a.m. here and then we move through the day, continuing to see that rain kind of sticking around five, six, seven, right around when trick or treat would start. But depending on the timing of this front, might see rain or might not see rain. So we're continuing to look at the data to become more sure about those times for your Halloween forecast. We're first learning to a couple things here. This weekend seasonal highs just in, in the 50s and maybe just up into the 60s for the weekend but um, an area-wide frost coming through Sunday morning that's Saturday night into Sunday morning now Tuesday Wednesday next week we talked about it it's those gusty winds 40 plus miles per hour possible for winds going into uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and that is possibly going to be a first alert day because of those very strong winds on Tuesday and Wednesday we'll have more on that coming up our Halloween forecast here chance of rain of course and then some warm temps that we haven't seen in quite some time last year it was pretty chilly so maybe some rain comes around and some pretty cool te uh, pretty warm temps that then cool off behind that front that's expected to come through with the rain there on uh, Halloween now our Friday night football forecast for tonight it's gonna be a pretty mild night out there 56 degrees at kickoff and then at the uh, fourth quarter we're seeing 50 degrees there so pretty mild but honestly that's perfect weather for football most people would say pretty clear conditions and a wind of just 10 miles per hour. Now tomorrow Notre Dame versus Navy at Navy. We're going to have sun and clouds there at Navy and a temperature of 64 degrees. So again, a beautiful day tomorrow for some football for Notre Dame. Now our frost and freeze forecast here. We're seeing that possible uh, light freeze expected Saturday going into Sunday. This is Sunday morning, a possibility of a light freeze. Otherwise, no frost expected. Also, daylight savings is coming up in just a little bit over a week. And of course, that's going to be next Sunday, next Sunday you're going to turn those clocks backward 2 a.m. to 1 a.m. and your t uh, times there for sunrise and sunset moving back of course. Now I want to note mostly here Monday and Tuesday expecting uh, some warmer temperatures those windy temperatures that are coming through Tuesday and Wednesday and also with the wind we're seeing warm conditions 78 degrees